So welcome ladies and gentlemen, today's a little bit different, okay, we're going to be having a look at a game that I think is quite interesting, and I think that Konami could take away something from this, okay, this is Rush Football 2, so it's not PES 2018, it's not FIFA 18, don't get excited, um, but I just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about it, we've got a couple of seconds there, 40 seconds, I'm going to pause the video every now and then and discuss a couple of things, but this is before the match has started, now currently on PES, there's nothing. Before the game starts, you get the same old cutscenes, and that's about it. You see the formations, and that is it. There's nothing about the, the other matches happening around the globe. Right here, you've got the other matches coming up. You've got the league table, which is shown as well. Very much like FIFA. FIFA do a decent job. They do a decent job before the game of showing you information about the other fixtures or your current match, who's playing well, how many goals he's scored, and all that fun stuff. Pez doesn't do any of it, does it? So let's pause it right here at two seconds. And if you have a look at the bottom, you see that little ticker that has all matches to have over, blah, blah. Well, obviously, this is a gambling website, so it's catered differently. But on Pez, why can't we have something strategic to that game itself? Players to watch. Uh, maybe you're in a run of form and it has Arsenal is on a four match unbeaten run. Something, I don't know. Add a little bit of authenticity to the game to make it a little bit better and uh, give you something just to look at before the match has started. You know, un above that we have match day 12 fixtures and it has all these of the, the different, uh, I believe, gambling odds and all that jazz. Once again, put something else in there. There's plenty of space. I mean, you don't have to copy this screen. I'm not saying that, but at least they show you information about what's going on. We've got the top 16 teams here in the league table showing you the wins, the draws, the losses, the goals scored against, goal difference of points. You know, they're not just showing you the top eight. You want to see the other teams, how they're doing, who you're coming up against. And then, obviously, on the left-hand side there, you've got the other matches that are being played. So, Konami could take something from this. Use it. Add it to the game. Give it a little bit more jazz and a little bit more spice um, to really make that match interesting to play. Now, if you move on to the gameplay, now, remember, this is a, a simulation gambling cutscene type thing okay they only show you cutscenes when there's a bit of action so it's predetermined there's not really any cpu there isn't any sorry not cpu i should say uh, user interaction you're not playing the game you're not making players sprint so that's why it looks so realistic you're not going to get these types of sort of physics and movements uh, on pairs you can get the animations the animations can be there but I don't think you're going to get the type of physics in the way that players sort of move on the ball. It looks very fluid. It's very natural. Uh, but there still are certain things they could add. Look at the right-hand side. Match day number 12 giving you the scores. Why can't something like that pop up uh, in the middle of the match? And if you have a look here as we pause it, you know, this is half time. They're showing you the other scores. I believe Pez used to have this feature. I don't think they have it anymore. Why? Why do we get rid of this? I don't know. I'd like to know how the other teams are doing. Not only that, why can't we have it that not only teams play on a Saturday, but they play on a Sunday and a Monday. On Pez, every single team plays on the same day. It's just not realistic. I mean, if Pez want to go for realism, they've got to start looking at different leagues and change the structure to that league. I'm sure you don't need a license to be able to do that. So yeah, time ticks on. We're in the 50th minute here. You know, a little bit more gameplay to watch. Just a good header over the bar. And the commentary is great on this as well. If you get a chance to look at the original video, have a look at the commentary because uh, it's nicely presented, nicely done. But as I said, this is predetermined. They already know what's going to happen. There's no user interaction, which makes it easier to program something like this. I'm not saying Konami can do this. They can't. I mean, if, you know, FIFA, same ball game. Very difficult to do something like this. But I just like the look of it. The camera angle also quite nice. You know, it's not, not too shabby. I know Konami have uh, their broadcast camera, but I still like to, to see that tweet ever so slightly but I just want to see more information on the screen that's what I want to see the presentation of this game is nicely done and I think that's uh, what I'm really impressed by and these uh, are the final results at the end of the match once again you know why not show all the, the results straight away you don't have to go on the next screen and see them show them straight after the match show the updated tables and what could happen and where teams have gone with the green arrows and the red arrows and underneath that you know matches to come uh, all that stuff as well so we're advanced a little bit more here as this video draws to a conclusion but i just wanted to put this out there because i think it's something that konami could look at and, and get some ideas from why not 
Why not get some ideas from a game like this? Uh, just even off screen, before the match, after the match. But they've got to change it up. I'm getting bored of it. And that is that. Let me know what you guys make of it. That is Rush Football 2. It's not Pez 18. It's not FIFA 18. We'll be back shortly. Until next time, take care.